video is on choosing between new tax regime and old tax regime. The video is divided in three parts. In the first part, we would be discussing the overview of the two schemes, the tax labs applicable in the old as well as the new tax regime, and the benefits of opting in or opting out of the new tax regime. In the second video, we will be discussing the procedure for opting out of the new tax regime. And in the third part, we would be discussing the frequently asked questions on the new tax regime. This video covers part two of the series. Let us now see step by step how to opt out of the new tax regime. In case of non-business cases, the option to switch between the old tax regime or the new tax regime can be exercised with the return of income on or before the due date specified under section 139 subsection 1. However, if you are reporting income under the head profits and gains of business and profession, form 10IEA has been notified which can be used by you to exercise your right to choose the old tax regime. By filling this form, you can inform the income tax department regarding your choice of the tax regime. Please note, in case of income from business and profession, option to switch to old tax regime and withdraw from the old tax regime in any subsequent assessment year is only available once in the lifetime of the assessee. However, in non-business cases, you can exercise your option with the return of income on or before the due date at the time of filing your return. Form 10IEA is applicable both for the exercising of option of opting out of the new tax regime and also for withdrawal of the option in any subsequent assessment year under provision to section 115 BAC 6 that is re-entering into the new tax regime. In case of business income, Form 10IEA should be filed on or before the due date specified under Section 139 subsection 1 for furnishing the return of income. Please note that if you are filing your ITR as an individual, HUF, association of person or body of individual and not subjected to audit, the due date of filing return is 31st July. However, if your business is subjected to audit, the due date for filing your income tax return is 31st October. For businesses which are subjected to transfer pricing audit reports, the due date is 30th of November. We are regularly getting the questions as to how many times can we switch between the tax regimes. Please note, while an individual without income from business or profession can switch regimes every year, an individual having income from business or profession cannot switch regimes more than once in their lifetime. Let us now see step-by-step -step process to file Form 10IEA on the e-filing portal. You are required to log in to your e-filing account and post-login go to e-file, click File Income Tax Forms and go to Form 10IEA. You are required to select the relevant assessment here and then click on Let's Get Started. You are required to select if you have income under the head Profits and Gains from Business or Profession during the assessment year. You would be able to continue with the form only if you click yes in the radio button. Then you would be required to answer the due date applicable for filing your return of income. You would be required to confirm that once the form is validly filed, the same cannot be withdrawn. And also to be sure that you are opting for the intended regime of taxation, you can click on yes to continue. There are three sections in the form. Basic Information section, Additional Information section and the Declaration and Verification section. Basic Information section is pre-filled. You can check the details and then select your option of whether opting out of the new tax regime or re-entering the new tax regime and then click on Save. In the Additional Information section, you would be asked whether you are having any unit in the International Financial Services Center referred to in section 80 LA subsection 1A. If the answer is yes, you are required to provide the details of the units in IFSC. However, these fields will be grayed out in case opting out option is selected. You would be required to verify the form and provide the declaration and then click on save button. Post submission, you can confirm the status of filing the form on the e-filing portal. You can again go to e-file income tax forms and then click on view file forms. You would be able to see the status of form filing on the e-filing portal. Choosing between new tax regime and old tax regime is very easy. To know more, you can visit our website www.incometax.gov.in or contact our helpline numbers.